to that barrel left roll, going straight into a wing over. This is a real challenging maneuver, folks. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of dedication. They're not coming to you cold. No, they've had practice flight after practice flights. Prepare for this moment right now, coming to you with a lot of passion and a lot of aerobatic power right now, pulling up to that vertical. You'll notice that there's two different airplanes. On the right, Sean D. Tucker's Oracle Challenger 3 carries serial number one, not another like it, weighing 1,225 pounds. And on the right, this is the extra 300L, weighing 300 pounds more, but she's still able to keep up. Sticking to Sean D. Tucker's wing light blue, the drag on that plane is very different, but she's able to stick with him and now separating apart for a cluster hammerhead. That's right, at the very same time, they're gonna lose all of their control surfaces, give a little stick, a hard rudder, and demonstrate the cluster hammerhead. There it is, folks. What do you think so far, Team Oracle? Diving back down into the box, Jesse will come alongside Sean's wing, joining into close formation for one gigantic loop right here over the skies of Salinas. This is Sean D. Tucker's stopping grounds. This is where he's from. This is where he's from. This is the helping teams, empowering them through the metaphor of flight. Check out more of the Bob Hoover Academy software staff. At the Bob Hoover Academy plane, right by the Kentucky C-130. You don't want to miss it, folks. Now going into a wing over, diving immediately back into the box. If you're noticing this kind of precision, we really have to thank, on behalf of all of Team Oracle, Bill Stein. He's our coach, he's our mentor. We want to thank you, Bill, for your sacrifices of time and your commitment to helping us make this magic in the sky. That's one gigantic loop. In the words of Sean D. Tucker, yeah, baby. And in the words of Jesse Panzer, yeehaw. Okay, moving away from the close formation and right now transitioning into a tail chase. This is really, really challenging. And about the tail chase, it's just as hard as a close formation fly. Jesse Panzer right now sometimes only seeing Sean smoke, but sticking in perfect distance right behind Sean E. Tucker. This takes a lot of skill. Jesse Panzer has got one staggering resume. She's flying air ambulances, King Air, Citation Jets, flown for Flies Electronics. Another loop and setting up for a stop. And although there is still in a tail chase, you're going to see that same precision right here. Again, losing those control surfaces right now, turning that plane right around. That's Sean and that's Jesse following right behind in that staggered hammerhead. Folks, make some noise for Team Oracle. at a very young age, but overcame their fear. Shawnee Tucker's father, an aviation lawyer, he grew up in the with tragic stories of airplane accidents. So he faced his fear, took care of the forces, overcame them, and behind his fear, folks, he found his passion. Now he inspires 8 million airshow fans every year, part of Team Oracle. Jesse Panzer, Also had the fear of flying, but also a fascination and decided to face her fear, maybe as a way of getting to know him. And she knew she would graduate from the before she sold the first airplane, folks. Both pilots facing fears, overcoming them, and finding their passion. This, my friends, is Team Oracle. Another staggered hammerhead right now, folks, making it look easy putting all of their practice first. We couldn't share this joy of flight with you without our sponsorship. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineering to you. Oracle simplifies IT and strengthens the lives. These complete business and technology solutions in the cloud or in your data center. It is only from 
Oracle Rub Rider. Can you help me out? What's about to happen is both of these guys are going to do solo performances at the very same time. I, I want to see if we can turn the music back to a song that maybe you Sean D. Tucker fans would find familiar. This is the classic solo act, Team Oracle Music. Out in the back course, Jesse Panzer does the hammerhead, gets that airplane rolling three quarters of a time to the right, picks up smashed over 200 miles per hour as Sean D. Tucker works his way back in. Watch Jesse there, now climbing through 1500. Watch the top of the loop, a quick snap roll, one and two. That is called the double avalanche, a loop with two snap rolls on top. Sean D. Tucker coming in from the right, boy route, we got it here. Jesse Panzer now inverted on the down line, rolls to the upright position, picking up a lot more smash. She'll experience some eight times the pull of gravity as she goes straight into the vertical line. You can see that great stop of the angle climbing straight up into this incredible sky over Salinas. Gosh, that's gotta hurt. And right now, Sean pulling up and setting up in a moment for the Tucker Upper, his classic Sean D. Tucker move. Climbing up around into the Tucker Upper. And right now, going into the double hammer head, that's not just one, but two. Turns it around once, loses his control surface, turns it around twice, folks. That's the double hammer head. Championship, this is the torque roll. Charlie pulled this one out, and the judges said, you know, we've seen that before. Charlie did something they never saw before. Watch closely right now as Jesse spirals around. This is the torque roll, spinning his wings around, going straight up, up, up. And then what does he do? That's right, he throws it in reverse, flying his airplane backwards, and all his control surfaces are switched. Left is right, right is left, diving down, getting up to 100 miles an hour. Folks, this is Team Oracle. Make some noise, Salinas. That's why Team Oracle goes to the gym six days a week. It's why Shawnee Tucker likes climbing mountains. He's climbed four to seven something, I think. But uh, yeah. he did the real one. Yes, and, he did. Uh, and he's always putting his practice first, always giving back. He's also the chairman of the EAA Young Eagles program. They've flown two million kids. 